Hey guys, what's up? Kevin A.K. Keepers from Say Kevin Shout Triple Zero here, and welcome to a very special video. Um, this is called a Smash Ultimate Tier List Maker, and uh, this is pretty much uh, my tier list uh, in my perspective opinion. And just to let you guys know, this is not a tier list on um, on who I think is the best character in the game is. This is basically a list of like who I'm going to be playing with the most. Which, I mean, like, you're going to be seeing, like, my main characters and, uh, my, like, secondaries and characters that I'm not going to even touch. Or at least touch once and never do it again. Um, so, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Now that the full roster of Smash Ultimate has been revealed, it's, I think it's about time to do this. So I did look into this, um, since K. Rules reveal... It's really fun to do here. It's like it's a really cool feature that they made. Um, so as you see, there is an S tier, an A tier, B tiers. Um, I have a different version of that. So let's begin with the uh, S tier, with which is uh, high tier, top tier, god tier, whatever you want to call it. Called my peep show. So these are pretty much my main characters here. This this whole section here. So my main team. My main characters that you're going to see all the time in my videos, pretty much. Uh, here's the second one, Backup. You're not going to see as much as my as the ones here, but definitely right up there, you're definitely going to be seeing the Backup uh, more often than the ones down below. So, uh, right down below next behind it is for funsies. Like, I do like these characters, but not as much. Like, I'm not going to play them seriously as the other two, but... I will play them from time to time. Um, so, yeah, that's that. It's, they're passable. They're average at best. And here's the eh, probably not section, which is um, most likely I won't be playing them at all or showing them in the channel. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. So, you're not going to see me seeing much of it. And then there's the uh, oh, hell no! Uh, oh, oh, hell no! Nah section. Um, if you could kindly do so, Vine. Thank you. So, which means that I will not give these characters the time, date, or day, or anything in general. Fuck those guys. Alright, so, we're going to be doing this in alphabetical order. Well, which is, like, my main main is not going to be, like, right here. Uh, so, that does like, just because, like, there's a character right here that doesn't make it my actual main... Um, so, let's get started, shall we? And oh, ho, ho, look who's first on the list. You want to take King K. Rool's spot from Smash 4? Well, fuck you two. <laughs> you want to be in Smash? Just to sh you, you just want to show off your body to Sakurai so, you, and so he can put you in Smash? Well, fuck you. You want to... Have two people pick you at the same time and have the worst grand finals in any turn in Evo history? Well, fuck you too. All right, Bowser. Um, back up definitely because I really like Bowser. He's super fun, and uh, I always like just Bowser siding at the right time and just ass slamming them to death, just for massive damage and massive like knockback. It's great. And his down tilt pretty much trips the opponent, so that's going to make him better than in Smash 4. So, thumbs up for Bowser. Alright, and Olimar, no, sorry, I can't. It's just, I played him like twice, I just can't do it. This is not fun. N not fun. Bowser Jr., I used to put him in the funsies category, but like, ever since, like, I played him a lot, and it's just, I, every time I do it, I just get less and less interested like i know his projectiles he's got green projectiles but they barely have any power or speed into it so it's like it's not that special anymore so i'm just putting him at eh, probably not because i don't want to be too hard on him because there were times that he was fun all right so captain falcon definitely on the peep show first member here uh this guy's a legend he's nostalgic like there's only one guy who can use a Falcon Punch. Like, this guy's... Let's face it, he's more of a Smash character than an F-Zero character. That that series is pretty much dead. So, 
like, you don't worry, Falcon. You're 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 a true man's man. Uh, so definitely, Captain Falcon using him. Cloud, I was gonna shit on him. I used to shit on him a lot because he is not a Nintendo character. He wasn't a Nintendo system. Uh, like, like finally, thank God they made a Final Fantasy VII remake for uh, or a port for Switch. So now he has a legit excuse for being here. But I'm still gonna say, oh hell no, because you're just almost as broken as Bayonetta is, and. Seth Roth is way cooler anyway. Corn, here's another one that can just fuck off. Let's face it, he debuted in Smash, not a Fire Emblem game. What the hell? Okay, sure, whatever, Sakurai. You do what you want to do, and I'll just do what I want to do. And I want to put Corn into this section right here. Nobody knows who you are until that Smash... Direct the final Smash Wii U direct, and then your game came out weeks later or a month later, whatever the hell. I don't know. Diddy Kong, uh, probably gonna put him with the probably not. I mean, he's hard to control for me. I don't know how Zero does it. Like, he's a top tier character and whatnot, but I just can't control his jetpack really. I want to put him on the for funsies list though, but it's just not working. Like, I like Diddy, it's just this is weird. This is weird to me, but sadly to say, that's how I feel. Dr. Mario, I'm going to probably say not because I don't really play Mario anyway, so why would I play Dr. Mario? A little spoiler alert there. But yeah, like he's just a weaker Mario. And why do we have two Marios there? I'll get to that when we get to Link. Donkey Kong, putting him in the backup section. Really like him. He's fun. And I think he's going to be better. He's supposed to have better throws now. I don't know if he's going to be more powerful though, but either way, like, he's definitely going to be buffed and I always like playing Donkey Kong in spite of him being low tier. It's just, I like him a lot. Give him a pass. Duck Hunt, no. Hell no. You pissed me off back then in Dunk Hunt. You're, suppo you're supposed to catch ducks for me and not laugh at me, you Muttly looking motherfucker. Oh, and you're not Banjo Kazooie either. Falco, here is a bird that I really love. Made him since melee. Like, always been one of my top fives. It's probably going to be the same still. Love this character to get death here. Same goes with his buddy Fox. Made him since 64. Like, I love Star Fox. I had to put them in there. Like, long live Star Fox. Ganondorf, absolutely in the peep show. Not only is he faster, but he finally uses his sword. Finally! And it looks so good! He's finally in his melee look. Like, I'm so excited to play him, man. You have no idea. It's great. So good to see him like this now. Greninja, definitely on the peep show. Um, I have to say, though, I don't feel like Greninja is, like, my secondary character anymore. I just feel like he's lost luster to me. Like, I still really like him. Don't get me wrong. Greninja is still, like, S-tier material. Like, he's still A for me. But it's like, I feel like I prefer playing other characters that are better than him. But, um, I still really enjoy using, like, Shadow Sneak and his... Water Shuriken and uh, Hydro. Like, I really like his specials. They're great. I really enjoy them. He's just slippery, though. That's the no that's one of the major reasons why I'm putting him down. But he's still in Peep Show. I still love the design. He's super cool. So, shout out to Greninja. Ice Climbers, I'm glad they're back, but I, I never really was keen on using them, so probably not. Who knows? We'll see. Ike, Ike I will bring back in the backup. I used to main Ike uh, in Brawl. He was one of my top ten. I think he was really cool back then. And I still think he's cool in Smash 4. And still is cool in this game. So definitely putting Ike in the backup thing right here. So next up is new character Incineroar. Definitely put him on the peep show. That was my starter that I used in Sun and Moon. Or Ultra Sun and Moon, whatever you call it. Super cool character. Honestly, I'm 
way more interested in Incineroar than Decidueye. Even though Decidueye is pretty cool. Don't get me wrong, he's pretty dope. But Incineroar stole my heart for that one. And uh, Pretty Marina, you, you could just go, ugh, I'm just glad she's not here, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Todd, if you're watching, but I just, uh, no. Because I know you like her, or him, whatever. I just don't. Inkling, probably not, because I don't play Splatoon really much, and there's better shooting out shooting games out there for me. But, uh, who knows? I'm gonna, maybe she'll change my mind and see what moves we can do, but as for now, it's just not gonna happen here. Isabel, I'm sorry, you're so cute and you're adorable. Look at you, you work so hard. Too bad I'm not an Animal Crossing fan. I'm sorry, I just can't. I just can't. You have too much shenanigans that I can't deal with. Jigglypuff, I'll probably put probably not. Um, he could be better, or she, it could be better. It did. Ha it does have the back air back from Melee, so that's a plus. Um, but yeah, Jigglypuff's always such a hard character to use, like. It'd be nice to, like, you know, win with Jigglypuff, but I don't know. We'll see. King Diddy, putting him in backup. Always liked Diddy a whole lot. Um, definitely not as good in, uh, in Smash 4 like he was in Raw, but hopefully they change for the better. Um, I'm still having high hopes for Diddy. I'm putting him in my backup here. So here's the real king right here, Mr. K. Rule. Right here in the Peep Show, finally you're in here. I'm so happy. So happy. The best character trailer reveal ever. It's character reveal trailer ever. It's so good to see this character in action. I love it. I love this this guy. He's so cool. Ah, long live the king. Kirby, probably not. Like, for, uh, like he's so overly powered for no reason, like canon-wise anyway. It's just like almost every other character does except him. That's ridiculous. But, uh, he's not the worst character, though, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll pass. Link! Link, I'm gonna say probably not to that. Because, um, Link's never been really been that good in Smash. And plus, again, not a big Zelda fan besides Ganondorf. Um, but his moves may look interesting to me. Like, I do like the changes he got in his bombs. So, uh, only time will tell. Little Mac, probably not. Um, even though they buffed his recovery in this game, like, a lot. Um, I always had a hard time controlling him. It just wasn't really my thing, really my shtick. You know what I mean? Alright, uh, Lucario. Up, up in the back up. Um, always really liked uh, Lucario. The more damage uh, he takes, the higher his the more damaging he is. Like, the stronger he becomes, it's like a Saiyan, pretty much. I mean, he is voiced by a Saiyan, after all. <laughs> but, yeah, I always liked Lucario. It was really fun. Put him in the backup. Luke, Lucas! Lucas here, putting him probably not. It's just... I don't know, I feel like Ness is a more efficient character than he is. Just saying. And uh, Earthbound, like, I've seen a lot of playthroughs with Todd. But I'm still not, like feeling about playing an Earthbound character. I mean, I did play Ness a lot in 64. I really think 64 Ness is really fun. But it just went downhill from there. His back air is like the dumbest thing ever. But yeah, Lucas... I don't know. Lucas is kind of a downgrade. Uh, Luigi! Definitely up there with the peep show. Definitely with my peeps. Because Luigi, like, he don't get no love, no respect. Well, he does get love and respect. What are you talking? What am I talking about? He's got a new game, Luigi's Mansion Three, coming out. Like, finally, like, he deserves the spotlight. For God's sake, Year of Luigi Two. Who's with me? And Mario, probably putting him down here. Probably not. I mean, there's Luigi, so why would I play Mario? And I already explained it with Doctor Mario too. Marth, putting him in the backup. Always really enjoyed his gameplay. He's really fun. And he's got one of the best reaches in the game. He's just like... I always played Marth since uh, Melee. Like, I haven't stopped since. Like, I really like this character a lot. Lucina? Nah, sorry. You're, you're just a weaker version and a slightly faster one. But that's not doing it for me. Sorry. Mega Man! Uh, probably put him in. Probably not. 
Um, I just, I don't know, like, I don't really, I like, his projectiles is very good, but that's just about it. Like, I'm not really keen on Mega Man, like, my favorite, I do have some favorite characters in, uh, Mega Man, though, like, I really like Bass and Guts Man, and Proto Man and Zero are pretty cool, but, I don't know, I just don't feel it. It's not me. Alright, Meta Knight, I'm going to put you on funsies, because uh, not only were you like the best character in Brawl, and then you get downgraded in Smash 4, and uh, what I've heard got really downgraded in Ultimate, um, I still like Meta Knight as a character overall, and he is still pretty fun in Smash 4, so I'm just going to go ahead and just put him in here, just to take it easy on him. Uh, Mewtwo, definitely on the Peep Show. Um, I think the people are saying that he's nerfed only because, like, they nerfed Air Dodge in this game, and he had, like, the best one. But I don't think that's going to mean anything to me, because I know now not to dodge that much, because they're scaling down dodging. So, other than that, he's I think he's going to pretty much be the same, and he was really good in uh, Smash 4, so I hope that uh, stays the same in this game despite that. But either way, I'm definitely maining Mewtwo. I love him. He's like my favorite legendary Pokemon anyway. So he's definitely staying up there. Alright. Here we go. Me Fighters now. Uh, I'll, the Fist one? The Brawler? I'm going to put it for funsies because uh, my main me is a fighter. A Brawler. So I'll only pick this character... My, I'll only pick my me if someone else picks their me. So that's how it goes. The rest of these me's, they can just, like, screw off. I don't have time for them. No one really cares about me's anyway. Uh, Mr. Game & Watch. Put him in probably not. Because, um... I'm not very, like, keen on him. Like, I I'm not that completely crazed and obsessed like other people with the down grab and side B. Like, they'll constantly do side B. Constantly. It's annoying the crap out of me, but you know what? He's a classic for me, and uh, he's been there around since Melee. I'm going to go easy on him and put him in Probably Not. Ness, I'm going to go with Probably Not also. Just like I explained in 64, that he was fun at first, and then it's like, I just, I don't know. I just lost luster. Lost a lot of luster for him. Whatever the hell that means. Pac-Man, probably not. Also, um, I, I always liked the Pac-Man game, despite of how difficult it is. Um, but gameplay-wise for this, for me, like it's not really doing much. So I'm just going to have to put him here. Palatina, I'm going to put her for funsies. I think she's definitely the best female character in the game. I really do like that um, she has such long reach on her um, smash attacks. It's great. really, And it's powerful too. And they buffed her counter. So that's going to be cool. But um, I don't feel like I'm that good with her. So I'm just going to put her for funsies. Uh, Peach, probably not. Because um, I never really... Well, back, well I, honestly, I was kind of a Peach fan back then when I was a kid, but then due time, like, just you just keep saving her and saving her, and it's just, like, boring. I know she has pretty good moves. She's one of the best characters in Smash history, uh, according to, like, uh, pros. But uh, just not for me. Same goes with Daisy. Pretty much the same thing with Peach. Pichu! Oh, God, do I... Do I dare... Yeah, I dare. Let's just do it. Fucking Pichu in the Peep Show. No, wait, that's not fair. I, I'm, I'm not being so... I'm going to put him in backup, actually. Because if I put him in Peep Show, people are going to rant at me, and I don't want any hate mail. Because, like, ugh, this Pichu is... I know it's like... He, he's the best character ever. of all. He's the strongest character of all time. Guys, he is so strong that he hits himself. He does damage to himself. Like, do you not understand that? Can you comp can you not comprehend that how outrageously powerful this guy is? Like, like, like guys like Superman and Zeno and eat your heart out. 
Like, don't fuck with this guy. I'm going to still put my back up then. I really want to put on my peep show, though, but I'm going to be easy. Pikachu, though, I will put on my peep show because... Because Pikachu, like, I he's the first character that I played as. Like, my very first character. And uh, we go a long way back. I've always, like, had Peach, Pikachu right up there. And he's even better in this game. Like, his down air spikes... And he has, like, a Mewtwo Nair. Like, he is, like, for sure buffed. And that makes it all the war all, all the birth better. It's just great. So, definitely adding Pichu there. I mean, Pikachu there. Pikachu. There's Pichu. Alright, Pit. Pit. Um, probably not. Because why the hell would I ever play... P well, actually, yeah, I'll just go easy on him. Whatever. Why would I play Pit when there's Dark Pit where I'm putting in the Peep Show... A much cooler, edgier character than Dark Pit, and he has a better side B. He does. It's not as good as not a better B move, but still a good B move nonetheless. Just shoots arrows. It doesn't go directly, like all directions like Pit does. It just goes straight forward. But who cares? I usually do it in a straight anyway. And you can put it upwards too. Pokemon Trainer! I'm going to put them in the back up pile here. Um, all three of them. I think that is really cool that they are back. Both Squirtle and Ivysaur. Um, Charizard unfortunately does not have his side down B with the Rock Smash anymore. Which is a bummer, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm still really excited for a Pokemon trainer. It looks really strong from what I've been seeing and what I've heard. So definitely, definitely looking forward to playing him again. Ridley! Ridley, a newcomer. Putting him in the back up. Looks super fun and he looks super cool. And people have been asking for a long time. And I'm really excited at how he turned out. Just, he looks so fun. I'm definitely looking forward to playing him. Rob, probably not. That's, that's, for, that's for John to deal with. I, I can't. Sorry, Johnny. Just, just what, Wally, Wally, Wally. No, 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 Wally. Robin. I will put him for funsies because um, I actually do have a good time using him. He's a bit difficult at times. Like I have to time like my projectiles and what not, and um, where I can use my down B on an opponent. Like if he gets enough close range, that is. But. I do enjoy him. He's fun. Like, I'll definitely be picking up more, but not as much as them, these guys, like I said. So, definitely, definitely going to try Robin out. Just not serious. All right, so Ra Rosalina, probably not. Never really much controlled Luma that much well, but I do like Rosalina. I think she's like the... Best female character in the Mario series. This is not gameplay. It's not for me. That's all. Uh, Roy. Roy I'll put in backup. I do like Roy a lot. I think he's cool. Always did like Roy. And that's about it. Crom. I wasn't going to like. Put Crom anywhere on top of here. But you know what. His move list doesn't treat me. And he does look neat. So I'm go easy on putting for funsies. Like he does look cooler than Roy and maybe I don't know about Marth though, but maybe. But we'll see. I don't know. The only time will tell. Maybe this will change and move him up to back up. Ryu, Ryu, I'm gonna I was gonna put him in back up, but there is a reason why he is going up down here. Because this guy just made his appearance. Mr. Ken Masters. Mr. Ken Masters is here. I'm putting him back up. So definitely excited for that. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to actually put him on my peep show. I'm not, I'm not going to be honest. I really, really enjoyed the move list that he had. So I'm going to put him right up here. So definitely Ken for sure. I, I, don't, I, I honestly have never been ex this excited for Ken in my life. Until today, so. Zamis, same here. She's going down here. She used to be in the funsies, but 
Dog Zams is here. Definitely on the peep show. Dog Zams looks so goddamn good. I love it. The veins and the shoulders and the way her missiles and lasers look. It's awesome. Like, why the hell would I play Zamus when there's Dark Zamus? So, yeah, definitely Dark Zamus is going up there. Uh, Sheik, probably not, because I had a difficult time controlling her, too. Like, um, another top-tier character that pros use, and use very effectively well. But, I just can't do it, and she doesn't really have much kill tools, except if it's Bouncing Fish. She does, is really fast, though. It's out of control for me, so... Sorry about that. Shulk? Hell no, I just can't. It's, I mean, beside, despite the really good buff, where you can change uh, your Minato, like, he's not the character for me. I never was a Xeno Chronicle fan. Xenoblade Chronicle fan. And I apologize for that, but no, I just can't do it. Simon Belknot? I'm gonna do probably not. He could be fun, but we'll see. I don't know. So far, probably not. I haven't really played much of Castlevania games. I really want Alucard to be a playable character other than him, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm not that. I'm not going to cry over it. Same goes with Richard. It's pretty much like a less cooler Simon Belmont. Which is Richard Belmont. They're both Belmonts. <laughs> but, um, I'll go easy on him. He looks okay, though. I'll go easy on him, but probably not, though. Snake, I... I Think Snake is great because uh, he is uh, pretty much a bayonetta killer from what I've seen. But I'm gonna put him probably not because he's too hard to control for me. I just I don't know. I really just can't like use those bombs correctly or grenades. It's just hard. Another top tier character I can't use. It's so sad. Sonic. Uh, I really want to put him down here, but I'm gonna go easy here and say probably not. Shadow should have been in the goddamn game, for God's sake, goddammit. But Sonic, well, at least I'll have some Sega rep representative if I ever feel like it, but I doubt it. So, I don't want to piss off any Sonic fans, so I'm going to go easy and put him on him. Toon Link, no, he's just he's just a smaller Link. Like, And Wind, Wind Waker was, like, super hard. It's a good, beautiful game, but, like, super hard, man. Villager, no, pretty much. I just can't. It's fucking annoying to me. Uh, pocketing and his and his up is forward air and his back air are the same goddamn thing. What the fuck? Okay, sure. And his, uh, his forward smash attack can kill you, like can hit you while you're off the edge. What the fuck? All right, so Wario, yes, there you go, my main man, my boy, my homie, my Oski. All right, that's weird, but you know, moving on. We Fit Trainer, no, I have no idea why she was there to begin with. So weird, so weird. I can't believe you're back still. Oh, this is moving on, man. This is moving on, moving on. Yoshi. Yoshi, my fucking man is back, man. Yeah, shit. <laughs> but we know that since June. Anyway, I'm going to put Yoshi probably not because I um, always had a hard time difficult controlling him. Um, it's just like, eh, I don't know, never much on Yoshi. The last Yoshi game that I really enjoyed was Yoshi's Story. The Young Link, same thing with Toon Link, moving on. Zelda, probably not. Even despite some of the buffs that she got, it's probably going to be bad still. It's pretty, though. And Zero Suit Sam is probably not. I used to play her quite a bit, but afterwards it just got downhill from here. I just keep dying all the time. I just can't do it. And I really like her, too. She Next to Palatina, she's like the best female character in the game, but it's just not for me. It's not for me. All right, well, there is the list of the characters that I will be playing and not be playing. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have a list of your own, uh, feel free to make a video of this or let me know in the comment section below and what your opinions are. Because um, I like to hear that. I like to hear other opinion, uh, people's opinions. But with that being said, I'm Kevin, a.k.a. Cubeships, a.k.a. Shout to Zero, and thank you guys for watching. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video, whatever that is. Alright, bye guys.